the hammer, you know, Greg the Hammer Valentine, his finishing move was, uh, I think it was a punch behind the back with a hammer behind the head. And, you know, he'd be a great witness for a, uh, in court. I never saw it, uh, but I was told, but I didn't see it, but, but I was told, and I hate Billy Jack. Uh, just something like that, it just it hits me because I never had a hatred for anybody. And uh, I just was, just, you know, I was just uh, a, a cocaine runner. And uh, that's it. So what I'd like to say is Greg is, uh, if he said, you know, he hates me, I just want to make a $20 million challenge to me him in Philadelphia to this only because my right knee is gone. You see, she's so bad, so tough, and hates me. And, uh, and I will beat the living shit out of him like I get every wrestler I've ever fought. Now, believe me, I got the shit out of me. But, um, you know, it was very unprofessional what he said about me. I heard in another interview, not with me, Greg Valentine also alleged that you were let go from WWE because you had taken uh, GHB on an airplane and they were worried you had a heart attack. Is there any truth to that? Well, now, that that is true, but it's not. The, what he's talking about isn't true. I overdosed. When I when I I had never taken drugs except steroids, uh, no, I mean I mean no drugs. Like I tried marijuana, tried beer when you know when you when you when I turned a teenager, but I was completely drug free. You had to be in the business I was in, and uh, what happened on that? I was in uh, I was coming from Detroit to Miami, and me and Rick Rude took those two twenty two. We took about 10 of them, uh, not the Tahorian dope. It was a, you get them over the counter in Canada. They're called 222 codeine pill. And I had a bad reaction to it, and they had an emergency landing. Uh, can you imagine that today? The news would cover that. Uh, emergency landing in, D in Detroit to North Carolina. Everybody had to reschedule. Demolition. Talk to demolition. They were on the plane, too. They can tell you about the emergency landing. That part of it is true, but not, he didn't know what I took. Come on, man. I never even spoke to the guy. Yeah. If I said anything, it was high. That's it. He, he said in the same interview that you guys weren't friends, so you have a point there. 